Good evening and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. This is Kristen and today is day 24 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life and Scrap Timber, Laura Alberts and the Scrappy Sisters. And this is our sketch. It is a page map with six pictures. This has two and a half by two, which is a little smaller than what I'm working with. And some layers here and here, a title, some embellishments, and some journaling. And it also, our scrap timber prompt is wood veneer. So, here is what I got. So, the pictures that I chose to scrapbook are finishing up 4th of July with my family and I have some pictures of some of the little smaller firecracker type things that they did and sparklers so my pictures are actually I've trimmed them a couple times three and a half by about four and three quarters I mean three and three quarters I, try, um, it was, I took the pickest picture, this one, and trimmed it down to the smallest width that I could. And so that's what I based my decision on how big the rest of the pictures would be. So, I mean, I could have obviously trimmed these a little bit more, but I didn't want to lose a whole lot more. Definitely not in the width here, but, um, <laughs> crazy pictures. So that is what I have to work with. Then for wood veneers, I have these stars and I have one other kind of star, but I didn't like it as much. It's kind of florally looking, florally. Mm. And so this one has like stars in it. This one's got a star in the middle and just almost like leaves. So I thought those were pretty cool. And then I have this one that says amazing. And these all came from Crafter Square at the dollar store. And I see it's really florally. Um, I picked those up as a surprise. My plan was I was going to use the wood veneers that are in this project life. And I may change my mind, but I feel like this is, um, these had some neat ones that said like hello together favorite adore and stuff like that so I, I may still change my mind but um, I think that I'm gonna go with these so um, I even have a little piece of one of the um, the part of the uh, dragon it will not be on a picture <laughs> um, so then I have this embellishment of a little girl and some sparklers which I've held on to forever and so this is from 2000 and it's my mind's eye so this is going on the page these are some scraps because there is this block of paper here and down here so um, these are like photo pages and these also were but uh, they have been cut down like I cut the outside border out so I'm holding on to those I have these as my uh, scattering and this for some words I know I'm going to use the sparklers um, maybe the wow maybe family and friends I'm not sure so I want to use some of those and then this is my uh, paper for the background and this is my base paper this is actually Disney paper it's one of the last few that I have left so this is what I have that I want to work with. Um, I may bring a couple of other things in, but for the most part, this is going to be a reasonably simple layout. I mean, this is kind of simple, really just some like three pieces of paper, six pictures and some small clusters. So uh, I'm going to kind of stick to that because my pictures are so big. I don't want to crowd the whole page but my pictures are pretty much going to take up this whole piece of paper here so let's get started and see how it goes all right so I 
took this piece of the white paper that's got stars and confetti on it. I thought that would be a fitting um, background paper as well as be contrasting enough with that blue. And so uh, that is American Crafts paper. And I cut my pictures out and matted them. The top two and the bottom two are on a light blue, kind of smoky blue. And the middle is actually um, lightning paper. Not that you can tell because I had to turn it down so far. But it is Dana, um, one of the Dance and Daskin. I can't think of the name. I'm going to find out and I will post it below. I have the worst time remembering all of those names. Um, so... I put them down to where there is a space in between and a small space in between um, from the top towards the bottom. There's a small space in between so you can see the confetti and the stars behind there. Um, I didn't want it to be too big of a space in between because I don't have a lot of room since my pictures are bigger than the sketch. And... Um, but I wanted to make sure I had a little space either at the top or the bottom so that I could have a little bit bigger, um, border. So I made sure to do it at the top on the sketch. It's on the, to on the top and a little bit more on the bottom, but since I wanted my embellishment to be similar to on the sketch where it's in between the top two pictures, I moved them down and left the bigger space up at the top. So, I am now working on this sweet little My Mind's Eye Firecracker Girl, and or Sparkler Girl, and I put double-sided tape on her feet, on the back side of her feet, and foam up on the top so that she would be a dimensional piece on the page. I know that the wood veneers will also be... Um, three you know uh, three dimensional and coming off the page but I really wanted her to just be um coming off the page and I've had these for a very long time and I'm so glad to start getting some of them used to have a couple more uh similar to it so I went through the different cards that I had and the first one had a flag on it but I was gonna have to put the flag um sideways and it looked strange so I decided to go with this one, and these both were cards that were bigger that had a frame inside of it, just like the ones you see that I just took away that were over on the right. Um, they had a white space in the middle, and then there was a frame around it, and I had cut out the frame for something. Couldn't tell you when, when or what. So I've decided to put my wood veneers pretty much where you see them now, um, and I like the way they look. I know that you can paint wood veneer, but I kind of wanted that drastic difference between the white and the brown. I'm sure I could go back and paint later, but I think I like it this way. So I'm getting my double-sided tape out, and I'm going to tape down the um, American Crafts paper with the pictures already attached. And I only attached it on the inside pieces because I knew some of that sticky was going to come over on the side. And I didn't want it to get stuck on the paper and tear it. So I put extra adhesive. Especially at the top since there was going to be weight between the pictures and the wood veneer. I put an extra piece of double sided tape up there. So I am getting all of that um, together. And I just want to remind you all that... There are so many people who are participating in 30 Days of Sketches um, and Scrap Timber. It's on Facebook at Christie's Beautiful 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life and Scrap Timber. It's on, um, obviously, YouTube. And you can look for, like, the hashtags for Scrap Timber. And there's also a hashtag that is 30CBL. Uh, nope, D S C B L 8. Sorry. Uh, it stands for 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, and it's her eighth year. So I stuck my scissors under there because I decided that, um, while that white is a very bright, 
um, distinction between the blue. I wanted a little bit of gold on here and that's kind of in the brown family and I thought that would look good with the brown from the wood veneer and so I just took my little ink pad and this is just a I think it's Hampton art I got it at Walmart and I just inked it straight from the ink pad I know that I could use a dauber but some of these are pretty inexpensive ones and I don't mind doing it just like that especially for something so small so I inked that up and then I put it down and now I'm ready to put my sweet little girl on here right next to my daughter too bad my daughter didn't have a big bow in her hair um yeah <laughs> she's never been a bow girl so I get that down and now I am gluing with my zig memory um glue pen onto my wood veneer and I have never worked with wood veneer before so um, as of right now this looks I mean it feels super secure um, and I love my zig I've used that for a long time and have never had a problem with it although I do have a problem with it it runs out of glue that's why there was a big there was a quick flash because I ran out of my zig glue pen and luckily I have two waiting in the wings <laughs> When I open my next one, Amazon and I will have a conversation. <laughs> I order them on Amazon in a three-pack for like $9 or something. It's the best. I've found, to, for me, it's the like, least expensive way to purchase them. And I love having them because they've got that fine point. But anyway, um, so I have adhered the uh, amazing. And like I said in the beginning, I got these at Crafters uh, at the dollar store. And they're really neat. Um, they have like some, um, like they're a darker brown on the inside from where it's been cut out. Um, I never have seen those at the dollar store before. Any kind of wood stuff they've had there has been like for making signs or plaques and they're too thick for scrapbooking. But these are definitely not. They're perfect. And they were in the scrapbooking section. I was super excited. So, but I do plan on using my Project Life wood veneers because um, it's in a watercolor set and I've, I've never watercolored before. So that is something new that we're going to be doing in the near future. I don't know how near though. <laughs> I've got a lot of things that I want to try, like embossing powders. So um, I have adhered the two stars and the amazing, and I, the star that is the same as that one I'm putting down now, I put on the bottom of the, uh, underneath amazing. So it was a further away, kind of like when you're making an embellishment cluster nearby, you, I typically will put the oddball out, you know, in the top corner or whatever. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, I guess, unless you're like pointing it out. So... I am working on getting all my little uh, stickability stickers down. And I have had this sticker sheet for a long time. I don't know if you saw when I was pulling it out of there. It was $1.39 at the time. And you know that is not, it's not been $1.39 for these double sticker sheets from Hobby Lobby in a very long time. So these are, uh, I don't know, oh, it says 2009 on the back okay <laughs> moving on <laughs> uh, I'm not embarrassed about how my old my stash is I'm just gotta use it that's why I'm on this kick to use up my stuff get it on the pages because it's gonna look better there than it does in a drawer or a binder or a folder wherever it is you keep them so I have gotten all these little things and now I'm fiddling with the little firecracker piece that is left from um, one of our sparklers. And you will notice that I tucked it far, far away from my pictures. And um, it is literally like the little piece that you hold on to. So there's no chemicals or anything, you know, on there. Um, and so I have tucked that in underneath my little um, sparkler girl and used some of my glue stick. And now I am putting some stars up at the top 
These, I believe, are also stickabilities, but I cannot promise you that because they are out of the package and have been for a while. Um, I used to take everything out of the package. I am learning that's not the best move. So I'm, I'm growing up, guys. So I got all that stuff tucked down. I put my little clusters of those shiny stars um, up at the top and over on the side by the firecracker and at the bottom by the sparkler. And now the um at the very bottom corner and i don't know if you can see this in the video but in the very bottom corner it says disney you can, like printed you know like it's trademarked and that's fine and dandy but i don't want that there so there is a little journaling space underneath the embellishment on um the sketch so this is my nod to the journaling and I cut out a bit of this because I kept cutting this little piece wrong. And you see my corner cutter right there? Yeah, I took this little piece of paper and tried to use that. Oh my gosh, I need to go to bed. Because that did not work. So <laughs> I cut all that out. So you all don't have to think I'm in that big of a dope. But I'm telling you anyway. <laughs> so, you know, you try things and then you try more things. So I just wanted this little strip. One, to cover the Disney. Two, to put... Um, a little color right down here and um, to give me a little more of an embellishment space. So I just, after fighting with it forever, I ink it up with the same gold ink and then um, put some double-sided tape on the back of it and then put it down um, on that corner. And I used Mrs. Grossman's, these little blue... Um, numbers and I have a huge stack of them I must have gotten them at some outlet on clearance because I have a stack of them and they're nice to use but they're all the same color there's no they're itty bitty but um they're easy to use all right so I have everything that the sketch is calling for but my favorite thing <laughs> these days is to add a little mixed media. And I literally add a little mixed media. I get out my um, earlier or my previous video. I call this an embellishment box. Not embellishment. My mixed media box. It's got my sprays in it. And um, I cover up the pictures right there. Because I'm just going to tap a little bit of this tarnished brass um, mica spray on the top corner on the right. And then I'm going to move around a little bit and move my little plastic piece. I don't want it on my little firecracker girl either. Um, and so I'm looking now to make sure I didn't. I didn't. Good job. So I just want a little bit of that. It's not a bright color. It's kind of like a, um, it's goldy colored, but not like shiny goldy, especially on this dark blue. So I just put a little of that down, move everything out of the way. And now I feel like I'm done. So I'm going to show you some up close pictures and I just, I really enjoy the way that this turned out and I love the wood veneer. So that's it for tonight and I hope that you all have an amazing day, amazing weekend and um, I hope you get a chance to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping!